Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today you can see from the thumbnail uh, we are going to be working on uh, some 3D uh, printer uh, tools that I bought. So um, I get the camera turned around and we'll show you guys what we're up to. So first off, I have a fair amount of boxes of, you know, almost used up filament. So again, I can't really print anything uh, large um, with only that much filament on the reel. And then I'd have to stop and I'd have to change, you know, filament all the time. Or I could swap uh, print heads and have, you know, filament on one print head and filament on the other and then keep switching print heads and let the print continue that way. But uh, what I did is I bought one of these Sun Lu uh, filament uh, splicers. So basically what this does is it, um, it joins filament together. Uh, it's got to be cut on a 45 degree angle. So this end of this filament here to join it, it needs to be cut on a 45 degree angle. So I printed out a small filament holder block that you can put the filament in here and you can cut it at a 45 degree angle. And then once the uh, filament is, is joined to, or is put together, there's these um, little uh, silicone or nylon sleeves that you put in. I'll show you how it's all done, but you put it together and then I put together myself a, a holder so I can push filament from either side when it gets into here and uh, join it together. So this is my first time using this thing. So you're probably going to see me maybe fumble through this thing and see how it works or I'll get it hooked up, see how it works and uh, so I don't bore you to death on on fumbling around, we'll show you how it works. So I'll get set up and we'll get back to this and uh, hang tough. So first off, uh, we'll show you how to, how to turn this on. Uh, there's a on button right here, you turn it on here. And now you've got your, I don't know if you can see that or not, you've got your screen here and it shows PLA and the temperature. So what you want to do now is touch this button over on the corner over here. And now this flashes here and you can go up and down and change the type of material that you want to fuse. So you've got all these choices of material that you can fuse. And then when, you're, when you've got your material uh, that you've chosen ready to go, you just have to hit that button again and you're ready to go and that's the uh, temperature that it's going to fuse at. So I'll get some stuff ready. We'll get it in the machine. Um, I'll show you how to cut it on an angle and we'll be right back. Okay, I've got the camera set up somewhat right here. And I found the best way to cut it is with uh, a gasket scraper and what we want to do is get it lined up on that line in there so the filament um, just basically pushes into this holder like so and you can see the 45 degree line in there and we'll just take this now with the gasket scraper knife here and we'll push down on here and hopefully we'll slice that filament. And we've got a nice uh, 45 degree cut in there. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see that 45 in there. So now we can, uh, I'll show you how to join these two together and we'll be right back. So now 
we take a filament sleeve and we take the filament and then we just slide it into the sleeve about halfway. And I don't know if you can see, but you can just see, get into here, maybe this is better, you can just see how that uh, filament is slid into there. And it's roughly at a 45 degree angle and I've got it half halfway slid in to the uh, sleeve. So I'll slide the other one in and then we'll get the machine ready and show you how it uh, fuses together. So I've got the uh, filament sleeve put on both sides. It's in the uh, filament connector machine and I've ran it through either side of this uh, holder so I can actually push on either side of this once the uh, top is down um, so it uh, fuses together. So this is ready to go. You just got to close the lid here. Um, I'll turn this power button on. It'll give me a signal and I'll, and I'll hold these two together. It'll give me a signal that um, it's up to temperature. I'll push these together and then it'll give me another signal that um, it's been fused and I can open this up. So let me see if I can get this turned around so you can see uh, how that operation works. Okay, so we'll turn the machine on. I'll just lift this up. We'll turn this machine on. It's at uh, PLA. We'll close this down. And we'll push this together. I think it's uh, showing us here how it's warming up. Well, this is showing the temperature here, 113, 115. So it's building temperature here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's building temperature there. And we have to wait for an audible signal here. So 141, 145, 148. And we just have to wait again. I, I do believe it gives us an audible signal that it's ready to uh, be held together and, and fused. So it uh, takes a little bit to heat this up. Again, this is my first uh, first time using this. And let's uh, see how well it works. And once it gets to temperature and it tells you that it's a temperature, it uh, you hold it together. And then I do believe there's another audible to tell you that it's now fused. And then you gotta let it cool off for 15 seconds. 80, 81, 82, Audible is supposed to mean that it's fused together. We'll lift this up. Now I'll get this out of here and I'll bring you back. We'll see what it looks like. So once it's uh, fused together, you drop it back into this slot back here. Do it one-handed here. You just pop it into that slot and you push down on here. And it's supposed to cut the uh, 
sleeve off of it. So let me just see if I can get this out of here. Yeah, you can see where it's cut the sleeve. So I'll pull the sleeve off here and we'll see what uh, what kind of joint we got. This is my first one, so uh, I might need some more practice. We'll see what it looks like um, and we'll be right back. So I've got the sleeve off of it and uh, you can kind of tell where the joint is here, but uh, it's hard to tell. So I'll spool uh, this one back onto here. You've got to join the same type of material. So this is PLA to PLA. You can't join PLA to, to PETG or stuff like that or ABS. So you've got to use the same type of material. So I'll get this reeled on. Um, we'll put it through the machine. The printer will see. I don't believe that will hang up in the tube. It feels fairly smooth. Um, feels like a good joint. Uh, again, these, these rolls roll fairly easy so there's really no load on this and the extruder on the new machine pulls it through pretty good so um, we'll see uh, what this um, turns out to be like um, it's quite simple to use so um, yeah we'll uh, get the camera turned around and we'll do my uh, final thoughts so I'll be right back so I've got that uh, this spool all rolled back onto this uh, it's kind of neat what Joseph uh, Prusa does on his uh, center spools of his um, filament holders. Still hungry? Get more. So, um, yeah, when you're out and he wants you to buy more, it's pretty cool. And uh, this is the um, recycled stuff. So I've got, uh, it's kind of a different color than the other stuff that I joined, but uh, that's okay because I can use this for prints that I'm going to, um, you know, actually in the end paint. So I get the camera turned around, like I said, and we'll give you guys a final thought. So I wanted to show you uh, one more joint. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's, uh, you know, for my, I guess my third try on this. Uh, it looks pretty good, I'm pretty sure that that joint will uh, go through the, um, the tubing and the extruder no problem. Um, I'm only going to get better, like I said, with uh, practice on this machine, but um, we'll see how it works. I think it'll be fine. So I think what the trick is, is to actually um, get the sleeve and everything cut on the filament, uh, get it placed into the splicer like so with the uh, with the sleeve on it get it placed into this into the splicer okay and then close this down turn the machine on and wait till it builds up temperature and when it gives you those beeps that it's at temperature then slightly Push, push these two together on either side. And then after it gives you the three beeps, um, turn the machine off, hold these together very carefully and just pop open this lid and just pull, pull it back. So it's just out of, the, out of the heating element here and let it cool down and then you get a nice uh, a nice joint. Again, practice is going to make perfect on this. Um, my first couple of joints look kind of ugly, so I redid them over again. But um, it uh, once I get the hang of it, you know, I only got to do this every once in a while to uh, use up this other filament. But um, yeah, I think it's going to work fine for uh, what I'm doing. So that's the uh, little bit of a how to on how to use the um, filament splicer. Uh, again, it was only, I do believe, $79, and it's uh, from the uh, Sun Lu Corporation, and it's the FC01 filament connector. It's uh, not that bad to use. Um, again, I'll probably get better with practice with this, but um, overall impression, uh, I like it. It's going to be a great way to um, get all my, um, you know, partly used spools 
of, uh, of filament onto one spool. Uh, I can, you know, mix uh, colors like some of this silver stuff. You know, I can mix with carbon black or whatever and it'll, it'll print kind of goofy prints in the end. But again, I use the recycled stuff for projects that I'm actually going to paint. You know, and so if I'm making something like this, like a, like a sample gear, um, I, you know, I can, I can use that out of recycled stuff and not, uh, not worry about it because it costs a little bit less money. But, um, yeah, that's the uh, filament splicer. Um, I'm happy how it works. So remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching the video. And we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Later. Bye.